Hi, and welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique Ribbon Sculpture Tutorials. I had a request. Someone asked me if I know how to make a giraffe. And this is my version of a giraffe. So I hope it looks enough like a giraffe. Um, and if the key to making the giraffe is to get the giraffe print ribbon which I don't have so I'll also show you how to fake it with um, a base color and then glue on some spots to make it look more like a giraffe. You gotta be careful not to make it look like a spotted cow <laughs> but um, this is the giraffe with the little giraffe antlers and simplified ears. Okay so I'm going to show y'all how to make this today and you can give it a longer neck. I actually cut this neck a little too short for my demonstration. We're going to have a longer neck in the actual one. So what you're going to need is 7 8 inch grow grain ribbon. Okay, you're going to need a 2 inch piece for the ears. You're going to need a 1 and a half inch piece for the head. A 2 and a half inch piece for the neck. And then a 1 inch piece for the antlers and you might want to make them the same color that you're going to make the spots. If you don't have the giraffe print ribbon, um, you're going to fake it with scraps of a brown or whatever color you want it to be. I'm using a yellow base with a brown, but you can use a cream base with a brown or whatever color you think your giraffe wants to be. You want it to be pink and white or whatever color, doesn't matter, but I'll show you how to put some spots on ribbon to fake the print. Okay, then in 3 8 inch grow grain you're going to need a one and a quarter inch piece for this little nose cover right here. And you could make that the same color as the spots and the antlers. I guess those are called antlers on a giraffe. I really don't know. Okay, and um, then you're going to need scraps to make the spots if they're needed. Um, a small bow to put on her head. Uh, you're going to need a pair of Google eyes and you're going to need some thread and an alligator clip and the thread is going to be for making the ears. We're going to tie it right in the middle to make the ears. So there's your supply list and you're going to need um, a source of fire, a lighter or a cigarette lighter something to heat seal the edges especially on the spots if we're making them but you need to heat seal all the edges of your ribbons I've already done it um, I have a little scrap of black right here this is just what I'm gonna cut to make the nostrils um, you could also take um, a needle and, th and uh, black embroidery floss and just sew the nostrils in there just a couple of rounds to make the nostrils if you don't want to work with that tiny tiny little piece of scrap ribbon Okay, a pair of tweezers is always helpful. Um, to make the ears the way I make them, you're going to need an alligator clip that's not lined because we're going to pinch it in the middle and then tie it. You'll see in a minute. Okay, and um, of course you're going to need scissors, hot glue, and all that. So, there's your supply list. Let's get started. All right. Let's start by making the ears. So you're going to take your two inch piece, okay, and I'm going, you're just going to round off the edges into rounded points. Just take and cut the edges, just cut them off however you want the ear to look on the point right there always just cut it to a point. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then to make the other end match up you can just fold it over, put the point right there, and then just follow along. That's what we just did. Okay. Now you're gonna heat seal of course anything that you cut so it doesn't fray. Now you take the alligator clip and just pinch it right in the middle of this. You can also fold this in half to find the direct middle if you want. Give it a little crease. 
but you can see where the middle is. You want it to be absolutely perfect. Okay, now here's where you're going to need some thread. And I'm using a heavy duty button and carpet thread. Just get you a piece. <clears throat> I've shown you all how to make stuff like this in other tutorials. Just thread it on there. You always need three hands with this technique. But I'm going to attempt to do it with one. Okay. Or two. <laughs> okay. You find the middle. Got the thread in there. Okay. Then you just tie it. Make sure it's in the middle. Mine's not. better then just tie it tight once you get it pulled tight you can't let it go because it'll just pop right back out so I always grab it and then this is where you need another hand Make sure you don't unpeach. I usually just grab this with my teeth, but my teeth are not on camera. So, there we go. You can take it off of there and then just work it out like that. And that's how I make the ears. Okay. Just give it a couple more ties in the back. Okay. And then cut off the extra string. So, there's the ears. We've got them made. They look kind of like a bow, actually. But, those are going to go at the top of the head. So, you take the one and a half inch piece for the head and the two and a half inch piece for the neck. Now, if we want to make a giraffe print, all right, you're just going to take some spare brown, all right, and just, you know, cut off some pieces. It doesn't matter how big they are. And then from the side, just make your spots. Just cut it in a circle. Just randomly. It's giraffe prints, never perfect. Heat seal your edges, don't burn your fingers. Move that out of the way for right this second so I don't get all these little stuff on it. And then make several of these spots in different sizes. Okay. sure and heat seal them all the way around. If they curl a little bit, just give them a little pull to flatten them out. Okay. Just make use of your scrap. And if you're making smaller ones, use your tweezers to hold it to heat seal. You see that shrink up like that and make that point? That's what I don't want. And if that happens, just round it off again. fire's going crazy because I have a heater blowing, circulating air. There. there. Alright, once you get your spots, however many you want, you just take them and put some hot glue on them. And 
and you could put some spots on the ears if you wanted to um, but they do have a tendency to curl a little drastically whenever um, you put the crease in it there so that's why I didn't put any on there and the way you do you, you can look at giraffe print you just go back and forth just a spot on one side a spot on the other don't make it look like a a moo cow just line up that edge and one side and the other I'm going to save the small spots for the face here Let me put one down here so it's poking out from under the nose. That looks pretty good. Ah, glue strings. Y'all should know by now I hate glue strings. Another one for over here. Just another big spot. Right, now my flame is behaving. Doesn't have wind behind it. Ow, I just glued my thumb. Don't do that. Pretty much looks like a mock giraffe print right there. Okay, so that's going to be the neck. And that's finished just about. If you want to cut it at an angle just to give it a kind of a cute little look, now you can do that. Just give it an angled look. Heat seal. And you've got that. And that's the neck. Okay, I'm gonna make one more spot for the head. Just going to oh there goes my phone again. A nine o'clock alarm. Bad phone. And he, the person that brought it to me did not shut the door. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. He brought me the alarm and then left the door open by accident. So we were hearing the sounds of Crocodile Dundee playing in the living room TV. Anyway, I think I was putting one more spot on the head. And I should have had all these cut out before, but was kind of a spur of the moment video for y'all. So, anywho. Alright. That'll work for giraffe print. Okay, now we're going to make the, let's see how that's going to look, better there or there. Decide where you want your nose and your eyes to be, or your nose and your ears, which direction after you get your stuff put on there. Okay, so let's put the nose on it now. So you want to take the nose and just give it a little dip right here, just to, um, kind of make it cute so it's not quite straight across so you just cut a little little dip out of it right out of the middle like that 
No, make sure it's straight. And give it a good heat seal. Okay. And then you just glue it on there straight across the dip, wherever you put the dip. Make sure that it goes across. And then we're going to fold these edges over the back. So that's why it's longer on this side. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue across this one. Just right across the bottom. And then glue that on there centered. Okay, and we can either cut them off even, which is what I'm going to do, or you could fold them over, but we're fixing to round off these corners anyway, so let's just cut them even with the side. Okay, and then round your corners. And then do the same thing up here, just round off your corners, just gives it a little more cute look. It's not quite so square. Okay, after your corners are rounded, all right, you can make sure that you're glued down everywhere. See how that's sticking up? Just put a little bit of glue down in there just to, that wouldn't be sticking up if I would have overlapped it. It adds a little more bulk in the back if you overlap. You can do the same thing with your spots, because your spots that you glued on, obviously I didn't put glue on the entire spot. So, you can cut off any glue that oozes out. And everywhere that we cut a rounded edge, you want a heat seal. Okay. Alright, now you glue the ears on, right up here on the top, so just put a little bit of glue right there, in the center, and put the ears right up top, and in the center, okay. And when you smush it down, they'll kind of flatten out a little bit better and more. Okay. Now, this is where it really requires a little bit of artistic talent, maybe. Some trial and error here is to make the antlers. Because you're actually going to have to cut out this shape right here. Alright. So, whatever shape you think you want the antlers. And if you really don't have any artistic talent, like me... <laughs> You can always just make, you know, thin strips and maybe fold them like this and then glue them on there and it'll just make little antlers. That would be the simplistic way. If you want them to look like a giraffe's antlers, first thing I'm going to do is cut this 7 8 inch ribbon directly in half. Okay. And then I'm going to cut the shape out here of the top. So basically what I'm going to do is round off the top. Alright. Just get it good and round it off. If your ribbon starts fraying, heat seal it. Okay. I don't know why that just cut like that. I'm going to have to start over, I think. And like I said, I don't have any artistic talent, so it does take me a couple times sometimes to make something like this. You know, and I don't like 
to me this isn't ribbon sculpture really per se because you are just cutting a shape out of fat ribbon you know I like to actually make something out of the ribbon in the shape that it's already in but there's really no way to make a giraffe like that so we have to do this cut out stuff so bear with me here with making this I'm gonna go ahead and heat seal that just to prevent it from fraying when I cut it here let's see if I can get this right this time and if you want to put them together so that you're cutting them both at the same time then please do it that way you are sure to get the same shape out of it so you just put them together hold it really firm round it off again I'm going to try to just round this way turn it over we round that way and it'll help make a more uniform shape okay and once you get that done then you want to make it have a point so just cut the edge off to there and maybe cut it over okay and do the same thing on the other side cut it up to that point and over It looks like an arrow. I'm going to heat seal this really quick so that it quits fraying everywhere. This is really bad ribbon that I've got. Do this one quickly so that you don't curl it. So the thinner you get, the more likely you all are to curl the ribbon. I'm not at all happy with this, but this is why I don't sell the giraffe because it's too difficult to make for me the same every time. I don't want anybody to be disappointed if they order what I have a picture of and it doesn't come out that way. So I'll just show you how to do it yourself. See that curling? Ugh. It's alright. We can straighten it out. Okay. That cheap ribbon makes a mess, doesn't it? And then I just take and cut the points off the top so they look less obscene. Okay, then once you're happy with your shape, I'm not happy with this shape, but that's what she's going to get this time. Okay. Then you just glue the bottoms of them together to where they're kind of, you know, V'd off like that. Just glue them together down here at the bottom. This camera still better be rolling. I won't be angry. Okay, good. We're still filming. Okay, little glue. Put it together. Okay, now you're going to glue it right in the middle so that they're sticking up. Decide how tall you want the antlers to be. Okay. Glue in the middle. Stick them on. all the glue strings away. Clean up all my little shards. Okay. Now you can glue it onto the neck like that. You want to just put it at an angle and then glue this one straight up and down onto it. Okay. Just put a little bit of glue right up here at the top and stick it together.
Okay. And that looks like that on the back. I just glued it on there. Okay. Now, decide where you want to put the Google Eyes. This is where tweezers come in handy too. I believe these Google Eyes are a quarter inch. She could also stand to have bigger Google Eyes if you wanted. I think to me the bigger the eyes, the cuter the animal. It just looks more cartoonish. Get her eyes stuck on there. Okay. Now, some people like to put a little mane down the side right here because it's a, um, a giraffe. Sometimes they have that. Um, you can take some corker ribbon. I mean, obviously, all I have is white. You wouldn't want to use white on her. But um, if you have some 3 8 inch corker or even half inch corker or a um, uh, quarter inch corker it's really cute if you have it in like a dark brown or something that matches to just take and glue some corker ribbon along that edge right there and that gives her like a little mane uh, you could also put um, rickrack if you have <clears throat> some dark colored rickrack you could glue it along the back so that just the spikes are sticking up and that looks like a mane makes it look really cute like a giraffe and now the last thing is her nostrils and her bow Okay, and that bow that I made right there is just a real simplified bow. You make it exactly like you do the ears, only a smaller piece of ribbon. You just take a, a piece of um, 3 8 inch ribbon in whatever color pattern you want, and you put it in the middle of that alligator clip, tie the knot, and then trim it down to the bow size, and he seal the edges. And that's how you make that little bow right there. Okay, for the nostrils, obviously you want a little piece of black or the dark brown, doesn't matter. All right, and we just want literally little pieces. So just cut yourself some small pieces out off the ends there or off the sides. Heat seal. smaller than 3 8 just kind of snip off again heat seal you just want little little spots for the nostrils a little big. It would be easier if you took and um, did the did it by the sewing method. It should just be okay. Now I made it a little small, so you just find two pieces that match. Make two pieces that match. just flew off into oblivion. Fine then. I'll take that one. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> My matching piece flew away because I wasn't paying attention. It snapped between that and took off. So anyway, you'd want to glue those in place and you would be finished. <laughs> to finish this little giraffe for y'all. I'm going to put that piece on there.
not want that piece to go flying off like its buddy did. There. Yay! That worked out. So, there is a giraffe. <laughs> Now, if you wanted, I don't want to complicate things, if you wanted to make its ears more turned up, okay, you would do the same thing here that you just did with tying this off, okay, but you could cut off this bottom piece right underneath, it's wasting two pieces of ribbon, but you cut it off right underneath where you tied it off, okay, and then you heat seal it and pinch it before it, it gets cool, and that seals the ribbon. Okay, and then you would have like this one side of the ear right here. And then you could put it facing up that way or facing up that way. As an afterthought here at the end of the video, I will show you how to do that. So it's basically, you can take any size piece of ribbon if you're going to do it that way, but you are going to need two of them. I got one minute and 22 seconds. Okay. Put it on there, some thread. Tie it off. Okay. Tie it off. Okay, it's fixing to go off. I'm going to reset it here. Okay, reset the timer. Okay, so I tied that off and I cut the ribbon off. Okay, and this would have been rounded into that point before or after you tie it off, it doesn't matter. Just make it look like that ear shape. Okay, seal. Okay, and then what you do is you cut it right underneath that thread. Alright. Then get that, just kind of like Kenzashi. And then you pinch it. Okay. And then you can take the thread off. And it stays. See how that ribbon stayed like that? Okay, and then you can put ears on like that. You can make ears that look like that. And of course you would make two of them, all right? And when you, when I heated that and then pinched that ribbon, I pinched it real tight, okay, before it um, cooled off. And then it just literally melts that together. And you can take that ribbon off, that um, string off. And then you have what looks like ears this way. And then, of course, as long as you don't cut the part that you did, you melt it down there, you can shape it into ears however you want to look more rounded all right and then when you put that on there I'm just gonna pop this off to show you okay you would put the ears on like that It's all in your preference for making ears. You got one there. Okay. And then a piece of ribbon cut here.
didn't stay as tight because I didn't hold it in place, but I'm kind of in a hurry here just showing y'all how to do separate another technique for ears. Right below that string, just cut it, and then you melt that in, and you pinch it, okay, and you can get that string off. Ah, that one didn't melt, so just pinch it back. Okay. This is my Kanzashi making cigarette ladder. Okay. And you just cut off the stiff piece so that melts off of there. need to round it. Just don't cut off the bottom part. And then you've got another ear for right there. And then that makes a different set of ears. And that's finished. Okay. And that's how you make a giraffe. If that looks like a giraffe to you. But that's the best that I can do. I'm sorry. It would look a whole lot more like a giraffe if you actually have giraffe print ribbon. But when you have to fake it, sometimes you can come out looking more like a cow than a giraffe. A cow with a long neck. But anyway, find you some giraffe print ribbon. Don't try to fake it like I did. Um, but there is your giraffe, and that's the basis on how you make it. With two different ways to make the ears. And then just put yourself a bow right here in the middle or off of the side of one ear. Okay, and there she is. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day.